Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now today's really better than yesterday. It's not as hot in here. We finally got the cats. Um, a friend of ours um, who um, ditched the cats here. Um, we finally gave them back to her. So they're gone. Um, and I, I couldn't be more happier. And I'm reviewing a really good Adam Sandler movie. Um, yesterday I reviewed Little Nicky. Today I'm going to be reviewing Big Daddy. Um, this film came out I believe a year um, before Little Nicky. Yeah, before. Um, you could say it was like one of um, Adam Sandler's best like movies. Like, um, like, um, like surprisingly, I've never seen Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore. Um, these two are considered as classic comedies of his early times. But um, like I said, I've never seen them surprisingly, so I can't compare them to this. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know the story, um, Adam Sandler is like pretty much a screw up guy. Like he doesn't have a real job. He doesn't have a perfect life. And then, um, and then a the little boy comes to his doorstep, and. Um, and ba ba basically, Adam Sandler also tried to impress his girlfriend something. So um, he she he tells her that I'm like, oh, I adopt this kid, um, but she doesn't pay. So now Adam Sandler has to look after the kid, and yeah, it's kind of really tough to explain. Basically, um, the, like the trailer showed, like um, like he adopts this um, boy to um, to impress his girlfriend, but it doesn't work out, and um, so he spends some time with with the little boy, and um, and the little boy's played by um, like. The Sprouse Brothers, which um, which I'm sure you may remember if you watched that Disney Channel show like back in the 2000s, um, the Sweet Life of I can't uh, please forgive me I don't know the names when the the boys run this hotel or something like I never really watched those sh the show so I can't remember the name, um so, um so yeah they 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 play the little boy in this kind of like how the Olsen twins played Michelle on Full House you know because they're both twins they're identical and you can't even tell like think they're they're the two the same you think they it's exactly the one one same person and um yeah this is this is like one of the funniest um Adam Sandler movies um surprisingly I have not seen this movie until I think like actually all the way through so I believe last Christmas when I before I talked about my favorite um, 90s view I had it with a four pack that belonged to a friend of mine and I finally got the the standalone DVD so I can have it in my collection and it's it's a really funny movie. Like um like like first slap sticky, Adam Sailor comedy, like I said, my favorite is always romantic comedies with him, but um this one's actually like a really, really funny movie. Yeah, again there's some gross out moments, but still it's it's like compared to other films which I've seen, like like um, Grown Ups 2 or That's My Boy, this one's the best one to watch. Like again, if you can handle Am Sandler and you, you know what you're getting to it, um this is definitely a funny movie. And um the one scene I'm gonna bring this up again, which which I should like. I'm gonna say it a little differently. Like, like we wish we would have went back in time and tell them like, hey, nowadays McDonald's is serving an all-day breakfast because um in the movie um there's this famous scene where they go to McDonald's um Adam Sandler thought they were still having it for like another half hour but they they had to cut down for like um like I like said oh we stopped serving breakfast at 10:30 Adam Sandler freaks out the boy cries he goes get this kid a happy meal no get this kid a happy meal that's that's like a classic scene. But I don't know about you, but I find watching that scene, like, I, I actually find myself laughing. Because it's like, oh, not anymore. It's now a 24-hour breakfast. We can travel back to 1999 and tell them, hey, there's a 24-hour breakfast you want to go. Of course, like, younger people, like, nowadays, years from now, when, I don't think they would get that joke. Because, um, like, like I bet they were introduced to a 24-hour breakfast at McDonald's. Of course, there's always ways you could get french fries and burgers and everything like that. Um, so I don't know what would be funny to them. But I think it's funny to us that remember... Um, you know, like, like back then it's just like breakfast only for a limited time during the day, during, like during the morning, but now it's an all day thing. Yeah, just, just, just want to bring that up. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I guess, I guess this is one of the films that Happy Madison didn't produce. Like, I, I don't see the Am Sandler's Company name on it, or maybe it was a different title at the time, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, so yeah, that's my review of Big Daddy. I'm one of the best. Um, it's funny, it's heartfelt, where Little Nicky was kind of... I don't know, a little, a little strange and kind of like really fascinating bad, but this one's like not a bad movie, just just a good film, a good comedy, and um, so yeah, that that that's my review, of Big Daddy, and um, hope you enjoy your day. Um, hope I'm I'm gonna be in a more positive mood. I can't wait to get this video uploaded, and um, and <laughs> just 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 like taking care of Steve because I'm I'm um his big mommy. Unintended. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my review, Big Daddy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.